So, oh, um, a kidney dialysis patient is worried, as lots of people are worried, but this is particularly painful, I think, worried that the rising energy bills could leave her choosing between heating her home and running the machine that actually keeps her alive. Yeah, Andrea Rayville has been living with kidney failure for three and a half years, and she currently relies on a dialysis machine at home, which is on 12 hours a day, and she says she's spending nearly double the money she used to on powering it. Well, she joins us now. Really good to talk to you this morning, Angela. Why? I mean, is, is there is there no assistance? You've, you know, this is a life-saving bit of kit that you've got to run for as long as you need to run it for. Is there no help, no support given to you for that? At the moment, no. The only support I've had from my energy company is that they would... I would be the first, if there was a power cut, I would be the first one to be put back on because obviously I need the electric to run the machine. But at the moment, monetary-wise, there is absolutely nothing. Have you any idea just what it's costing you to run this? Because I'm right in thinking you're running it 12 hours a day every day. Yeah. Well, it's I have to be on the machine for 12 hours, so it's on. The, it's actually switched on for roughly 13, 13 and a half hours. Um, at the moment... I am doing bits for the Kidney Patients Association, which is why I'm doing this with you, and thank you ever so much for having us, to raise awareness for this, because a lot of people have no idea that we don't get any reimbursement whatsoever. Um, my bill normally is about £80, but I did notice um, a sharp increase this month when my bill went out at 120 That's before the energy rise in October and again in January. Yeah. And how much, I mean, when you do your sums through the month, how much money is there left or is there any money left after there bills and everything at else? Moment. At the moment, I've been off sick since November. So now my pay from work is finished. So at the moment, I'm relying on um, benefits, which I thought was something I would never, ever have to do. But those benefits total £500 a month. Um, my rent is 610 and then obviously you've got all the other bills. So I'm in a deficit before I've even started.